Hello, my name is Dr. Ominde, and we are going to discuss the microscopic uh, introduction to microscopic anatomy. So, basically, um, these are things you need to understand before you attend any histology class. So, microscopy is just what um, you are able to see with an assisted eye. So, it could be a light microscope or an electron microscope. So we have the study of cells, which is cytology, the study of tissue histology, and that of organ organology. And there are four basic tissues in the body, which you need to be able to discuss in detail. Epithelial tissue, muscle, nervous, and connective tissue. So tissues are just um, numerous cells that have the same structure and perhaps have the same function. And a cell, as you know, is the basic structural and functional unit that exists independently and it's usually surrounded by a cell membrane. Organelles are just membrane bound structures within the cell. So there could be mitochondria, the Golgi bodies, lysosomes. Inclusions, on the other hand, are non membrane bound structures. So organelles are membrane bound, while inclusions are non membrane bound, and a good example are the glycogen granules. So then we go to the part of a microscope. A microscope is an instrument um, that uses a lens, a combination of lenses. That way it's able to magnify images of small objects uh, that you may not be able to see with your naked eye. So it has various functions. You have the arm that usually supports the tube and connects the tube to the base. So this is the arm. This is the base, which is the bottom that gives support. And then you have an eyepiece where you look to see the image through the spacing. So that's the eyepiece, the arm, and the base. Then it also has a body tube. The body tube connects the eyepiece to the objective lenses. The body tube connects the eyepiece to the objective lenses. It has a revolving nose piece. That is where the objective lenses are found. So you can rotate to change the power. Then there's a stage, which is a flat platform where slides are usually placed. So this is your body tube connecting eyepiece to the lenses. This is your revolving nose piece where the objective lenses are, and this is the stage where the slides are kept. Then we also have a fine adjustment knob, which is a small and round, is usually on the side, small round at the side of the microscope, and the functional fine adjustment knob is to fine tune your focus. Then we have a coarse adjustment knob, this one is large, but also round on the side of the microscope, and it is the one that you initially use to focus on the specimen, and if you want to see the detail, we now go to find an adjustment knob that will fine tune your focus. The stage usually has clips that will hold the slide in place. So these are the clips that hold the slide in place. This is your fine adjustment knob. It's smaller than the coarse adjustment knob. Both of them are on the side of the microscope. So the fine one is the one that fine tunes your focus. Then we have a diaphragm. This diaphragm acts like an iris. So the way the iris regulates the amount of light that enters the pupil. So this diaphragm also controls light that will pass through the aperture. And then we have a mirror that or a light source which will reflect light to the specimen. Objective lenses usually um, are used to increase the magnification of the specimen. So these are the objective lenses here. So the objective lenses to magnify. This is your iris or diaphragm. And then your light source is right here with a mirror here. So the aperture is a hole in the stage through which the base um, light reaches the stage. So you have a light at the base, but there will be an aperture to get to the stage where the specimen is. And then we have a condenser. This usually focuses the light onto the specimen. So it condenses all the light rays and focuses it onto the specimen. It's usually located just below the stage together with the diaphragm. So this is your eyepiece, this is your tube, that's the arm, your uh, coarse adjustment and fine adjustment knob, this is the base, this is the light source, there's a diaphragm here to regulate the amount of light passing through the aperture, there's a condenser that will now focus the light rays onto the stage. This is your stage here, you have your clips and the stage has an aperture that will allow light. These are objective lenses and the revolving nose piece holding the lenses. So usually you have to make sure that you observe your specimen first using low power. You start with the coarse adjustment knobs before you get to fine tune with the fine adjustment knob. But you have to start with the lowest power times 4 before you go to times 10, times 40, then times 100. 
So then after low power, you go to high power and it's at high power that you use. Uh, you, as you get to higher power, you can as well go to fine adjustment knob to fine tune the focus. Then you make sure all both eyes are open on the eyepiece so that you reduce the straining and then find out the total magnification of the objects and always multiply the power by 10. So always use two hands when you're moving the microscope. One hand holds the arm, the other one holds the base. And you have to be very gentle when you're handling the microscopes. Then the microscopes always have to be covered when you're not using to prevent dust because the dust is going to affect the lenses. So always keep the microscopes covered. So you need to be able to define what is a cell, what is tissue, what is an organ, an organelle, an inclusion body. Know the four types of tissues in the body and the parts of the microscope and the function for each.